You know, as I sit down after AEW's revolution and try and think about how we want to pay tribute to the man we call Sting, a man who, no, an icon who has towered over the landscape of professional wrestling like a colossus giant for decades, my mind is awash in a myriad of emotions. The man in question, Sting, is not just a wrestler. To me and to countless others across multiple generations, he's been an icon, a source of inspiration and a constant in an ever-changing world, both inside the wrestling business and in the regular world. As he steps into the twilight of his illustrious career, I find myself reflecting on the indelible mark he's left on the sport of professional wrestling and on the hearts of fans worldwide. One of my most cherished memories of Sting was meeting him at a convention. As I stood before him, words failed me. Here was the man who had been my hero as a kid, my constant in the ever-changing world of professional wrestling. And yet, when I finally managed to speak, telling him about the impact he had on my life, his response was one of genuine humility and of gratitude. It was a small interaction, but it spoke volumes about the man behind the persona, a man who appreciated his fans as much as they appreciated him. My journey with Sting began in the 1980s, not long after his debut. As an 80s kid, I was a wide-eyed child then, captivated by the larger-than-life figures battling it out in the squared circle. But it was Sting, with his electrifying charisma and unforgettable promos and that colorful face paint, who stood out from the rest. Watch Sting! He'll take a chance here! Unbelievable! Oh, with his vibrant face paint and boundless energy, he was not just a superhero or supreme baby face to me. He was the guy, the face of WCW, and the man who won over the hearts of everyone in the arena when he came down the ramp and into the ring. I still vividly remember his Clash of the Champions match against Ric Flair in 1988, about that went to a 45 minute time limit draw. Though he didn't win the title that night, Sting won something far more valuable, the undying loyalty of fans like me. It was must-watch TV every week, and I loved every minute of it. The early 1990s saw Sting's evolution from a beloved face of the WCW franchise. His feuds during this era, especially with the Dangerous Alliance and Vader, were the stuff of legends. Each match was a saga in its own right, a testament to Sting's prowess and his ability to tell a story in the ring. But it was his transformation in the mid-90s that truly showcased the depth of his character. With NWO's rise to the top and winning the crowds over, even his heels, Sting's good guy and superhero persona was not getting the pop it usually had. People liked rooting for the bad guy in the late 90s, the anti-establishment hero, if you will. I don't know if many people know this, but it was actually Kevin Nash who recommended to Sting to change his look to a dark, silent hero. He showed him the movie The Crow with Brandon Lee, and the rest is literally history. Sting adopted the dark, brooding persona inspired by The Crow and tapped into a cultural zeitgeist, becoming the silent Avenger lurking in the rafters. It right, it's Sting! Okay! There's a wet spot for Eric Bischoff the city! Look how Sting is out here! Sting's ability to hear feedback from wrestling peers and to make a pivot that huge just further proves his wrestling greatness. Transitioning to total nonstop action wrestling, or TNA, in the 2000s, Sting demonstrated that his passion for wrestling knew no bounds. His matches against the likes of AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, and Kurt Angle proved that he could still go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the business. But beyond his in-ring achievements, it was Sting's role as a mentor to younger talent that truly exemplified his character. He was always willing to share his knowledge, to elevate those around him, and to ensure the future of wrestling was in good hands. And then there was his arrival in All Elite Wrestling in 2020. It was a moment that I, like many fans, had dreamed of but never thought possible. Watching Sting step out into the snow-filled entranceway, it felt as though time had stood still. Back on TNT for the first time! 18 years! The last match of TNT was Sting! 
Here was a man, well into his 60s, ready to write yet another chapter in his storied career. His partnership with Darby Allen was particularly poignant, symbolizing the passing of the torch to a new generation of wrestlers who shared his spirit and his passion for the craft. Hearing Tony Schiavone announcing Sting week in and week out was awesome, and I'm just so happy that the younger generation got to see it these past few years. Okay, first of all, Tony, Con, how much are you going to pay me to say it this time? No, I'm kidding, I'll save it for you. It's Sting! You're the man, Sting! Sting's last match at AEW Revolution was an emotional one. Not just for me, but you could feel it watching the crowd's reaction, too. I have no idea how Darby Allen survived that crazy leap from the top rope onto the glass and chairs. Part of me was thinking, cool, but the other part of me said, damn, bro, that was pretty dangerous, and Kinda not necessary, but it was entertainment and left an unforgettable moment for Sting's last match. As Sting enters retirement, it's impossible to not reflect on the legacy he leaves behind. He was a wrestler who transcended the boundaries of promotions, eras, and personas, connecting with fans on a deeply personal level. His legacy is not just defined by the championship he won or the matches he fought, but by the impact he had on the industry and on the lives of fans like me. Sting showed us that it's possible to evolve to reinvent oneself and to stay true to one's principles in the process. As we bid farewell to Sting, the wrestler, we also celebrate Steve Borden, the man. A man who entertained us, inspired us, and in many ways, grew up with us. His journey in professional wrestling may have come to an end, but the memories, the moments of joy, and the lessons he imparted will endure. Thank you, Sting, for the battles fought, for the moments of triumph and despair, and for being a beacon of integrity in a world often devoid. your legacy will live on, not just in the annals of wrestling history, but in the hearts of fans around the globe. As you embark on this new chapter of your life, know that you do so with the love, respect, and admiration of millions. Farewell, Sting, and thank you for everything.